Hi, I'm Nick Glorioso, proud owner of Glorioso Wildlife Mounds Taxidermy, Granville, New York. Welcome to the shop today. I'm going to put the GoPro 3 cam on and mount my 300 plus pound hog today. Uh, lots and lots and lots of prep work on this thing. This is a noon keister form from Mackenzie Taxidermy Supply. Uh, I did alter this form, had to make it quite a bit bigger. And also I put a severe turn to it. It is a wall pedestal. These are the artificial tusks that you can get. The eyes are set. The hide paste is on. The hide glue from HQ Taxidermy Supply. And you can see uh, my good friend Nick Curtis's wild boar is drying. That's a noon keister offset mannequin as well. Um, this is the pedestal. Reproduction nose is installed on both of them. And uh, I'm going to start this video. The skin is tanned. I tanned it personally with Lou Tan F. I put the GoPro 3 on. And it was tanned, degreased. The, uh, uh, the ear liners are installed. Um, actually, this, this ear here had uh, quite a scar to it there. So I'm going to have to work on that one. But... Um, welcome to the shop again, and uh, we're ready to slide this cape on. I figured get get on to the good stuff. <laughs> All right, so again, this this cape is ready to go. Um, I thinned it. I left a little extra skin around a lip line, things like that. Um, so I did pre-fit this form. And it should slide on there really nicely. So what I like to do is put my hand right through the mouth and open this area up here. And kind of just guide this thing this way. Okay. Lock this. Okay. Now, what I like to do, we're just trying to get this in position. Okay, and just take your time. There's hide paste all over the place here. And of course, the hackles are the main area, if you will, right here, the hackle area. Of course, that'll go down the center of the bore. So, you got to take your time. This is a closed mouth form, but... Even a closed mouth form, I've never actually done one of these uh, these uh, mounts before. Um, but it's still quite involved, actually. So, okay. Now, what we can do, we could take our hide stretching tool right here. And if we like, um, this wild boar has some beautiful hair on it. And this this tool right here that'll help you taxi things in position if you like you can grab onto the ears um, carefully but you can see there's plenty of hide paste on this thing uh, our guide over at the finger lakes uh, exotic game farm there in near uh, Syracuse New York he actually uh, caped this out, so <laughs> even though I'm a professional taxidermist, I got to watch and uh, and also <laughs> kind of breathe over his shoulder while he was skinning mine out. No, I was just kidding. <laughs> no, he did a great job, excellent job. Seems these these wild boar nothing but but head and shoulders on them. Wow. I mean, they have just a enormous neck on them, and um, my wild boar, and also my buddy's wild boar. Uh, he's almost a cousin of mine, <laughs> very, very good friend of mine, um, Nick Curtis. They were both really, really mature hogs, or wild boar. Um, this mannequin here, we have several rolls in it. 
and right now I'm just taking my time just slowly getting stuff into position again first and foremost you want to make sure the the center is where it goes okay now I'm just carefully pulling a skin around okay this is the armpit area now <laughs> of course you want your armpit area to go just like that you can see this is the armpit area right here okay this is the leg the leg was right there okay that's going to go right there I'm just going to line stuff up here and this mannequin here is also uh, it's a pedestal but it's also offset so just seeing how things gonna go and this this other um, armpit area is right here so okay things are getting in position here pretty well only thing I need to move this a little bit this armpit here is fine this one here I'm gonna have to roll around just a little bit here and the thing about taxidermy is uh, <laughs> not every form fits just like a glove uh, right out of the box that's for sure so you have to be somewhat of a woodworker magician carpenter <laughs> all the above <laughs> um to to get them to fit right so all right it's that okay that's looking good there this is going to come around here and right there just need to pull this down a little bit a little bit more and line that up there so let me go and do that and we'll get back to you in a few <laughs> 